So in typical fashion, my dad told me no less than five minutes ago that he's got a 15-year-old kid coming to interview us about the drive fest at, uh, at CTMP at Mostport. Uh, I guess he was talking to some different customers and Adam who's running the event uh, and he set up this interview and uh, we're about to go meet him. Uh, apparently pretty interesting, uh, very enthusiastic young kid. So I'm here with James Doyle. Uh, James just interviewed my dad there and, and tell me about your interview show, tell me about uh, how this interview came about and uh, I guess your career so far. So, uh, so far, uh, well one, I'll start off with the show idea. Uh, my show is uh, called James Doyle's Garage, kind of like Jay Leno's Garage, except I'm not a rich comedian with a big chin. Um, but we do a lot of different videos, uh, examples, we have a, a tool talk series where we talk about different tools people can bring to, you know, you know auto parts yards, etc. And then uh, we do a lot of different other clips with, uh, you know, big race car drivers like Mario Andretti, AJ Foyt, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, a lot of other racers, uh, Johnny Rutherford is another great example. Okay. And uh, now, you know, you and your dad. So you've, you've interviewed a ton of race car drivers. Is the idea that you want to be an interviewer or you want to, um, I guess, just follow the industry in general? Here, let's, let's walk and talk. I was three years old when my dad brought me to the Canadian Air National Auto Show. Okay. And I saw a classic Dino Ferrari there. And I looked at that and I think, I said, I want to build that. And growing up in my dad's factory, a big part of the way of I would think is if I want something, I can just go and build it. Sure. So I think that's how I really got into it. And I think I want to build. I want to. I want to get into the industry of building. You know, be manufacturer. Okay. Um, and journalism is another big part of my life of what I really enjoy doing, which is getting people's family stories and try to, you know, you know, capture, you know, a part of the story that people sometimes overlook or don't think of. Sure. And so you're kind of you're 15. Yeah. And so when you graduate high school, what do you want to do? Do you want to go and go to design school and become a, a designer or do you want to go work for a, a big manufacturer? What's your... Uh, I've, 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 well, actually, I've started my own car company to where I want to be able to build my own vehicles and uh, manufacture. And I don't... I, after high school, I don't know. There's okay. options. Uh, I don't know yet. Sure. But as of right now, I know what I want to do with, right now. And I'll see after high school. I'll see what options open. I'll see what I need. And I'll go to school for what I think I need to do. So the goal is to build cars? There. Pretty much. Okay. And I, the way I labeled my uh, business and the way it's shaped is it's a transportation business, not necessarily a car company. It's a transportation company. And I can see myself building a lot of different things into the future, uh, you know, about what people demand and what people need into okay. the future. Elon Musk is you're a fan of his. Is that the is that the idea? I guess you could say that. Yeah. Yes, uh, you know, Mr. Musk is uh, is somebody I do you know really aspire uh, to be like. Uh, another great example is Christian von Koenigsegg. Okay. When I spoke to him, his big advice to me was to never compromise. Sure. And I think that is you know something I still look up to, and I say to myself every single day, if there's a moment to where I feel like oh you know I can avoid this by taking a shortcut, I think no. Right. Von Koenigsegg said no compromise. So I think uh, learning and since I was I've had the opportunity to interview a lot of big people in the automotive industry I was able to learn from them of how I can shape my business and how I can you know uh, approach everything I've done so far sure so give me a list of your like top five or top ten like coolest interviews you've ever done Mario Andretti is definitely up there I'll have to say Mario Andretti AJ Foyt uh, Johnny Rutherford um, Got to say, uh, Christian von Koenigsegg, definitely. You know, it's hard to pick because I don't want to have definite favorites. Sure. You know? But uh, I feel like the when I interviewed the president of Ford, that was great. Uh, president of Toyota, learning about what Toyota is doing for the environment is, was pretty cool to learn about. Uh, and uh, I have to admit, the interview I did with yourself and your father was also really cool and really up there to be able to capture the story of this great collection and, uh, you know, 
different guys. Uh, I, 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 with the most recent Bugatti, the $17 million Bugatti, to be able to do an interview with uh, somebody from uh, the dealer downtown Toronto. Okay. Uh, interviewed somebody from there in front of that Bugatti. That was actually also, you know, pretty cool. I've done stuff with uh, McLaren engineer, one of the head McLaren engineers, a lot of different guys like that. And, you know, uh, again, it's hard to pick a favorite, you know? Sure, I, wow. I, I love it, I love it all. It's all really fun, you know? That's a list of heavy hitters. I mean, yeah. so I, I guess, your, is, your, is it your secondary passion is doing the interview stuff, or is that just a stepping stone to kind of get your foot in the door and build these relationships to the point where you can become a manufacturer? It, it's kind of a stepping stone, but at the same time, I'm already looking, I'm already started manufacturing, I'm building my own frame right now. Mm -hmm. And I think it is not really, it's not really a stepping stone, but at the same time, it's not the main thing I wanna do. Sure. It's more of another section of the business that I wanna be a big part of. Right, right. So, do you have, a, you've got a frame right now, have you, is it, does it run and drive yet? Or oh no, no, I'm still okay. building the frame itself, okay. I'm still working on the frame doing a lot of different things. Again, I'm looking to have a chassis lab concept where it's an open platform, people can do what they want. Uh, since hydrogen technology is really almost exploding, it's gonna be, it's, hydrogen technology is coming up. Okay. So the idea of the frame is people can put hydrogen technology in it. It's designed to possibly have an electric motor of some kind in the front maybe. It could be a front wheel drive, a rear wheel drive, something like that with the frame. Uh, people can use what body they want and uh, it's gonna be a three cell system to where the front and the cockpit and the rear is all separate parts. So uh, in the case of an accident or something like that, sure. it, it'd be a, a safe frame design. Um, it's gonna have, uh, one of the things that is definite or semi-definite on the, on the car is that it's a really good Mevotech suspension. Uh, it's gonna have a mix of different Mevotech suspension. That's a custom suspension I'm working on uh, and that's gonna be uh, pretty cool to cover. And I think something else I'm looking to do is just learn different aspects of different cars, look at what has been done, look at what I can do to uh, involve a lot of different older designs of things that have been done before into my car. Sure. Man, you're, uh, <laughs> you've got a lot on your plate and a, a lot to look forward to. That's uh, super interesting. I will definitely follow your career and follow your chassis design. And uh, thanks for doing, us, uh, doing the interview with Thank us. Thank you yeah. very much, yeah. sir. I'm here at EV Tech Expo with my friend to Toby Walters here. So Toby, what do you do here? <laughs> this kid's way cooler than me. I'm here with the prettiest girl in the, in, at the show. What do you think of electric cars on and off the track? Because I love Formula E and I think it is awesome. I'm here with my little buddy Tim. So. Uh, hey, I just came back from a race driving around with this lovely man and <laughs> like no one seen me. I was crouching like this. I was all like, all right, no one can see me. I'm here with my friend Dane here. I'm having a lot of fun at this EV show. Hybrid's important, I think, in today's society with uh, uh, the whole green initiative and everything else. I'm here with my friend Anthony in basically the greatest car in the world. So Anthony, how are you doing? All right, yeah. look at that. You got an audience. Be on Jay yeah. before you know <laughs>